So here's my brother's beautiful comp orange cobra, pretty much bone stock, and we're hearing one of the bearings sound like they're making a uh, squeaking, so we're gonna find out if that's the inner or outer belt. I'm gonna let the car cool down, pull the belts off, turn the pulleys by hand, see if we can uh, fill it that way, because the noise does go away when it's warm, um, but that's still a bad sign that it's a failing bearing, and if you know about these bearings, these stock ones, if they go bad, they can explode and uh, then the belt comes up dents your hood so bad bad deal so we're gonna let this cool down so we can work on it in the meantime we're gonna take uh, my cover for a ride and it's just about to hit 43,000 miles Okay, so we're back at the house and we're going to start this up and see if we can uh, hear any audible noises. These are really nice to have. They go all the way through so it can act as a deep socket but also get in, you know, really narrow spaces. Craftsman tool here. And uh, so we used this to get in on the pulley, uh, took the tension off of the tensioner, removed and replaced this pulley with a different one. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up and see if we hear anything. Appears to fix the problem. We swapped that pulley, put a different one on there that we had, and we're not hearing it. 
it's kind of hard when it only makes noises when it's cold or under certain situations so we'll run it and and uh, if not we'll look at it again that inner pulley I'm a little suspicious of just because it looks like it's getting a little older and uh, so we might pull the bridge at one point which is this piece on the front that has the uh, idlers for the supercharger you can pull that whole thing off and then get access to the uh, inner idlers so one step at a time all right beautiful 43,000 miles now and 33,000 miles <laughs> it's got me 